Welcome back, cozy friends, and welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Elle Serene, and today I'm creating a New Orleans feel city in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Before we jump into the design, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more design inspo. I'm starting out with the main street pathing for Tiana City, so I'm basically going to fill in the entire area here. As you can see, I've utilized a lot of different premium shop buildings to give this city street vibe. If you don't have all of the skins, feel free to experiment with other house skins or even villager houses. Now that our pathing is complete, I'm going to lay down some of the railroad tracks from Oswald's Level 10 quest. I really wanted to include the trolley in this build to give that city aesthetic. I'm keeping it simple with the item limit. I will lay down a one track railroad that ends near Tiana's house. To give this a neighborhood vibe, I'm going to add in fencing and I do kind of mess up with Tiana's fencing and I have to like basically push the fencing back one tile. So if you want to go ahead and do that, if you're like paying really close attention, you can see that I'm editing that here. Time to add in some floral elements all around. I really like this floral rectangular um, pot because it matches the green and the yellow of Tiana's place. And I'm just making room to add in some trees in the background next to the buildings. You can use any tree you want, but I wanted to stick to the glade uh, vibe, so I'm going to go with some of the swamp trees.
So I did extend the Main Street pathing one tile to the right, looking at the build this way. And I'm just gonna add in the brick fencing on the right side to give a little bit of variety with the fencing and to also enclose the area a bit. I really love some of the new items that Tiana gave us. And so I'm gonna add in some of those cute little yellow lily pads with the flowers that kind of glow and sparkle into our water, our river. My vision here was to put down some of the bistro tables um, so that my characters like Mickey, Minnie, Tiana, all of them can sit outside and kind of have a little brunch if they want to right in front of Tiana's place. Next, I'm just going to be adding in some other details to the side of Tiana's building. I'm adding in the little trolley cart for the food, the little signage, and even the little frog. So feel free to go at it and do whatever you feel fits here. I wanted to add in some lighting and then I'm also going to add in some of the wooden benches as seating on the right side of the build. I'm going to add Tiana's stall, her little food stall next to her house and make a cute little area for it. I've thrown down some various different items to kind of add to the build. Um, I actually recorded my build and then once I went to go save it in game, it did not save the entire right side of the build and even Tiana's stall wasn't there. So I just wanted to throw a disclaimer out there that make sure that you're saving your game at least every five minutes. But right now I'm going to work on finishing up some of the details, adding details to the stall and adjusting some of the decor throughout the build. Thank you. 
If you enjoy watching me decorate in games and also enjoy seeing decoration in real life, consider following me on Instagram. I have been working on showcasing my desk setup and living quarters in a cottagecore aesthetic. Hope to see you over there. Finally, I'm going to add in the droppable item. So I'm gonna buy some food from her stall to place on the tables. And then I'm going to drop the flowers that I chose. And I chose more, mostly the green type flowers to match our aesthetic and keep our color palette monochromatic. So I thought our build was complete, but then I realized I completely forgot to add in the beautiful firefly item that we got from the last update. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here and then we'll go ahead and tour and walk our build. That looks so much better. So let's go ahead and run through our New Orleans feel little town. I am so pleased with how this design came out. I hope Tiana likes her new area as we welcome her to the valley. Let me know in the comments what you think of this build, where you place Tiana's house and restaurant. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this build brought you inspo to decorate your valley. As always, have the loveliest day and stay cozy, friends.